Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In honor of prom season, I decided to recreate my prom look, which wasn't the prettiest one, especially since I was just barely getting into makeup. If I remember correctly, my inspiration was a video that Judy from It's Judy's Time posted back in 2008, so quite a while ago. <laughs> And my techniques weren't that good. I was just not into higher end makeup. So what I could afford at the time was drugstore makeup. And in this video, I'm going to be using 100% drugstore makeup as well as affordable brushes. So I'm sticking true to my original vision as well as my original budget at the time. So yeah, I'm so excited. As you can see in the background, that was my prom dress, my actual prom dress, which I will be putting on once again. I haven't tried it on since, since prom, so that was a while ago. <laughs> so I'm excited to recreate that look, adapt it to more modern trends and also some of the techniques that I picked up over time. So this is going to be a refined version of my prom look. And if you guys kind of want to see how my prom makeup looked like, I'm sure I'm going to add some pictures, but here's a little picture. I looked very shiny. I had oily skin and I didn't really know that at the time, so I looked very shiny during prom. But I thought I looked really pretty and that's the thing that mattered, so I'm going to take inspiration from this makeup and make something a little bit more refined and polished and long lasting because that's the key to prom makeup. You gotta make sure it lasts all day and night. The very first product I'm going to be applying is a primer and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. If you have oily skin such as myself, this is a really good primer for those of you who get really shiny. If you're going to prom or another special event, you're probably going to be taking a lot of flash photos, so you want something that won't cause a flashback. So you want to pick a foundation that does not have any SPF because SPF when you take pictures is going to create like a white flashback effect so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundations I have two because I have to mix them but you can just grab whatever foundation that you have that does not have SPF I just finished mixing a little bit of both foundations to create something that looks more like my skin tone and I'm going to be applying it all over my face as well as on my neck to apply my foundation, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques buffing brush just to buff it all in and make sure it looks nice and seamless. If you're planning to wear a dress that shows your chest area, I suggest you just take a little bit of foundation on that area. When I was looking back at my prom pictures, one thing that stood out was the acne on my face. I didn't really do a great job of covering that up. So it was very visible that I had acne and acne spots on my face. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealers as well as a really tiny brush. This is the ELF Studio Small Smudge Brush. And I'm going to be pinpoint concealing so that way it doesn't look like you have like a plaster of concealer on your face, but it will give your face a whole a very flawless look. And I'm also going to be concealing my under eye area with these concealers. I know baking has been a huge trend here on YouTube as of late, but back in 2008, it wasn't. YouTube just wasn't with it back then. <laughs> so I didn't know a thing about baking. I knew about powder, but I really didn't know anything about mattifying powder you know, an illuminating powder, like what are these things? In this case, I'm going to be baking, which I don't do in this channel. I don't think I've ever done in this channel, but I'm going to be baking using the Cody Airspun powder, which looks like, looks like this. I'm sure you've seen it a billion times, but yeah, I'm going to be baking just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm also going to be setting my face with this because I find that this is just the holy grail powder if you're going to a special event. So as you can see, I'm applying a very heavy layer of powder on my face. This is definitely not how I'm going to be stepping out the door, but I'm doing so because I have oily skin. One of the things you want to make sure when you bake your face or under eye area or whichever area that you choose is that you gotta let it cook. You gotta let it bake. So I'm going to start doing my eye makeup and then afterwards I'm going to just wipe everything away. So I actually don't own a lot of the makeup that I used back in 2008 except for the eyeshadows that I used which was this Physicians Formula Duo. This is what I used on prom night. This. 
<laughs> so as you can see, it's just a pale kind of ivory shade and also kind of like a medium brown right here. Both of these are matte. And this is what I used on prom night, but I'm not going to be using this for today. The eyeshadows I'm going to be using in this tutorial come from the NYC Lovatix palette, which looks like this. I do have a review of this palette here in this channel, so it looks like this. You get a lot of different shades right here, a lot of different types of finishes. And the reason why I'm going to be using this is because you do have a wide variety of shades here. So this is absolutely perfect if you're in a budget and you want something. It's going to give you a lot of options. The very first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. I'm using this Primer by Clean Color. It's their eyeshadow primer matte. And this one I got at Shop Miss A for $1. The very first color that I'm going to take is this matte brown, as you can see. And I'm going to be applying it as a transition shade. Now I'm going to be taking this shimmery copper shade and I'm going to be applying it on the mobile eyelid area. To deepen the outer corner, I'm going to take just a combination of both of these shades. I'm going to be tapping it once on each shade and I'm going to be focusing on the outer V area. And if you need just a little bit of help blending everything out, just take this lighter matte brown shade and I'm going to be just applying it all over the crease just to help blend everything out. Something that I did back in 2008 that I really don't want to do now is apply black eyeliner in my waterline. I feel like that just looks really harsh and kind of closes up the eye. So instead of applying black eyeliner in my waterline, I'm actually going to take just a little bit more eyeshadow and just smoke this lower lash line area. I feel like it looks more subtle. It doesn't close your eye as much. It just overall looks more flattering than this black eyeliner right there. Now I'm going to be illuminating underneath my brows as well as the inner corner just a little bit because I did do that back in 2008. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this eyeliner by Ulta. It is just a rich chocolate brown. And I'm going to just kind of smudge it along the upper lash line. Now for brows, I'm going to lightly fill them in using this e.l.f. pencil right here. And then I'm going to set them in with the trusty Essence Make Me Brow.
Now that I'm completely done with the eye area, now I can finish off the face. And first things first, I gotta get rid of all this translucent powder. Back in senior year of high school, I had no idea what contouring was. I don't think I ever even heard that word. <laughs> but today I'm actually going to do a little bit of contouring, just very slightly. When I was looking back through all the pictures, one thing that immediately just stood out was holy blush! I had so much blush on, it was just like a block of blush, which wasn't very flattering, I have to admit. <laughs> so I'm going to tone that down, just bring it down a notch. And I'm going to be using this Jordana blush, it is in the shade Touch Up Pink, just very, in a very subtle fashion. just right here just slight color not just like a block like I did <laughs> another thing that I knew absolutely nothing about back then was highlight there was no highlight on fleek no champagne pop no Becca no nothing <laughs> well maybe there was Becca I just didn't know about it but I didn't know anything about highlight but today I'm actually going to apply just a little bit of highlight and I'm using this elf blush in got a glow which is a pale gold highlight from what I can see in my pictures, it seems like all I wore on my lips was a little bit of gloss. I was not a lipstick addict <laughs> in high school. It took a few more years for me to get into lipsticks, but back then I was just all about the gloss, all about the glossy lips. So for today, I'm going to do things just a little bit differently. I'm going to start off with a lipstick, and this one is by Maybelline in the color Stormy Sahara. And then I'm actually going to apply some gloss because I gotta stay true to the glossy lips. So I'm going to be using this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. Now that I'm completely done with my makeup, all I have to do is get on the dress. I'm going to be putting on my old prom dress, which should be very interesting. So that's it for today's video. As you saw, I'm wearing my prom dress. It is so weird. It honestly feels so surreal just because I haven't worn this since prom back in 2008. I haven't even seen this dress, like the physical dress, since prom night. So it feels so strange. Look at that. I mean, of course, there's a lot more boobage now because my boobs just grew. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but back then there wasn't much cleavage as there is right now. I feel kind of kind of weird. I'm not used to all this cleavage, but it's okay. I still remember why I got this dress done. So in case you were wondering where I got it, I actually got it custom made in Tijuana. And if I remember correctly, the inspiration for this dress came from Vogue. I saw a dress in Vogue that I really liked that thick straps and it was just like cinched in the waist and I really liked it so I took that picture to my aunt's friend in Tijuana and we got that dress made. I changed a few things. I made the straps even a little bit thicker and I just, yeah, I changed some things. I went with red which is very out of my comfort zone now as you can probably imagine because I'm so monochromatic <laughs> nowadays and so just plain so I went with a red just because even back then it was kind of out of my comfort zone but I really wanted to stand out and I kept my makeup very natural, very neutral because of the dress. So even though I did change a few things from my original makeup look, I just made it a lot more <laughs> A lot more prettier <laughs> because I did not know how to blend I didn't know a lot of things and just in case you're still in high school and you're worrying about prom later on this month don't be too worried just have fun I went to prom with two of my best friends I did not have a actual date to prom I didn't go through all the corsage and you know the traditional stuff <laughs> 
but I went to prom with two of my best friends back in high school. We had a ton of fun. It was just the three single ladies just having fun, talking to my other friends, and it was just so much fun. It was so much fun. So if you're feeling stressed from your friends or maybe your parents or something to have a date, don't worry about it. Just have fun. Just enjoy your prom night and don't worry about going to an after party. I did not go to no after party. My after party was literally at my friend's house. We got some popcorn, <laughs> we got some movies, and we had a sleepover. Yes, I was kind of nerdy back in high school and if I were to repeat prom all over again, I would probably still do the same. <laughs> so just have fun during prom, be safe, and if you're someone like me who hasn't been to a prom and God knows how long, don't worry, maybe try on the dress if you still have it. Just, it's so weird. It honestly feels so weird to be back in this dress. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I would love to know what you guys wore to prom if you already graduated a while back. So you saw my prom dress, I would like to know about your prom dress or if you're going to prom, what color is your dress? I would love to know and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! One of the things with the Lancome Juicy Shaker, it has a cushion applicator. A very spongy cushion applicator. So all you have to do to apply this product is literally bounce it on your lips. It feels very 